This video is about car body introduction. We will have a brief introduction, then we will talk about the types of body structure and finally different car body styles. Body in white or BIW is the untreated and unpainted assembly of sheet metal parts such as doors, hoods, fenders, roof and basically all the metal framework of the car which give it its shape and identity mounted on the steel or aluminium framework which is ready to be painted. So in short, body in white is the external frame of the car with doors, hood, roof and hatch welded or attached temporarily for them to be painted. At this stage, you can finally see how the car is gonna look or of what type it is. It is called body in white because all the metal frame and components are in their natural state of appearance which is kind of grey or whitish. Now let's talk about the types of body structure. The first one is body on frame. Once common throughout the industry on a variety of vehicle types, this method of construction is now largely limited to pickups and SUV. As the name suggests, the body of the vehicle sits on the frame or chassis which is called a ladder frame. It gets the ladder in its name because it, it looked like one. The ladder frame consists of two long heavy beams of steel running parallel to each other and they are held by shorter pieces in between them giving it a ladder like shape. This chassis or ladder frame resist twisting better than any other structure and also due to the sturdy frame they have great pulling and load carrying capacity and for these reasons body on frame structure is used for pickup trucks and SUVs. Body on frame construction are obligated to have higher floor pans due to their construction. This allows for a much higher ground clearance which is very well suited for off-road vehicles. Another benefit of body on frame vehicle is that they are cheaper to build and repair because the body on frame because the body and the frame are separate you can replace one or the other if it gets damaged rather than both the next one is a unibody or a monocoque this setup integrates the frame and the chassis that is the frame and the chassis are combined to form a single frame which is called a monocoque because it doesn't rely on heavy steel rails like those of a body on frame vehicle Unibody construction cuts significant weight out of the vehicle, allowing for a better fuel economy. Now the frame around the customer or the occupant is called the roll cage and is made uh, very rigid. And the front and the rear end are constructed to deform under impact, creating a crush zone to disperse the impact force. Due to this reason, unibody frame is much safer as compared to body on frame. Because of their better safety and fuel economy, they are well suited for mass-produced cars, minivans and small SUVs which are very suitable for city commute. Now talking about the car body types or styles. Now there can be a wide variety or types or styles of the car body depending upon the manufacturers and different countries. 
In India, the few common body styles are a hatchback, a sedan, coupe, convertible, pickup, SUVs or MUVs, wagon, and van. Talking about the hatchback, these are the small cars with four doors and a boot or dicky. Doors are classified under hatchback. Generally, these are designed for comfortable seating of four passengers and small boot space for putting one or two bags. The size of the hatchback varies depending upon design. It could be super mini or a larger one. The design is same but interior size and luggage space varies. Manufacturers constantly try their best to make improvements for their product range. For example, the boot space of the new Hyundai Grand i10 is more from the first generation i10. Usually, hatchbacks are extremely convenient for city driving as they are perfect in heavy traffic. Some of the examples of hatchback are Maruti Alto, Hyundai i10, Hyundai i20, Tata Indica and so on. Even Tata Nano and Mahindra Reva Electric are classified under hatchbacks. Sedan Sedans are the car designed to for comfortable seating of 5 passengers. Sedan comes with larger trunk sizes which can be used for carrying larger amount of luggage. The features of sedan include large overall dimension that is length, width, height and wheelbase. Many times the existing hatchback car design is itself used for sedan with boot space extended. Within the sedan class itself there are wide varieties of options available depending mainly upon dimensions. These larger vehicles would demand higher tax rates and hence overall cost also increases. The cost of car largely depends upon the manufacturing cost, road tax of particular state or territory, etc. Some of the examples of sedan are Swift Desire, Mahindra Verito, Ford Fiesta, Hyundai Verna, Honda Amaze, City, Civic, Accord and so on. MUV or SUV SUV means sports utility vehicle and MUV stand for multi utility vehicles Although the MUV and SUV support similar design the two are significantly different MUV vehicles are designed to create utility they would be Flexible seating options ranging from 7, 8, 9 and 10 and so on. The body is built on chassis, frame and can carry large amounts of luggage. Generally, there is compromise on comfort and features in MUVs versus SUVs. Best example for, for MUV will be the Mahindra Bolero and Tata Sumo. SUVs on the other hand are vehicles designed to use in all road conditions ranging from highways to cross-country roads. In this type, importance is given for all factors such as usage of advanced technology for engine, gearbox, differential, four-wheel drive option, interior space. SUVs have features suited for long drives, good technology for suspension and so on. The main point about SUV is the importance given to the fit and finish and drive quality. Vehicles such as Mohindra Bolero, Tata Sumo, Toyota Innova, Fortuner comes under MUV and vehicles like Scorpio, XUV500, Tata Safari Storms comes under or classified as SUV. Coupe or Coupe as in French, coupe is the name given to sedan cars with two doors only. The two doors are a bit larger and tough rear seat is available in some models. 
Here main importance is given to styling, luxury and image. Coupe design is usually is used mostly in European countries and in India though available the number of people that prefer this type is very less. Examples of coupe are Aston Martin V8, Audi RS5 and so on. Convertible Convertible cars are the cars whose roof line can be removed or refitted as required. Generally, it's available in high-end luxury vehicles. Electromechanical devices are used for step-by-step -step folding of the roof line. In earlier vehicles, leather materials were used. In modern vehicles, the metal roof lines with the design of folding part by part and eventually rest on or in trunk part of the vehicle. Operating of a button is good enough for folding or putting back the roof lining. Convertibles are most frequently used in cold countries wherein weather temperatures is quite less and also roads have lesser dusty conditions. It's purely and a preferred choice for the person with passion of using a stylish car and the feel of air in, it, in here when driving vehicle. In India also, there are a quite number of convertible cars available and till date, it's the most demanded con conditions are hot, hard, top, sedans. Some of the examples of convertible car are Mercedes SL Class and Mini Cooper Convertible. Wagon Wagon is a type of vehicle with good combination of hatchback and sedan. These models have advantage of larger space behind the second row. It can be either used for luggage or for putting additional seats as required. The dimensions are larger than hatchback in terms of width, height. Some of the examples for wagon types are Maruti Suzuki Wagon R, Mahindra Quanto, Tata Indica and old models like Tata Estate and so on. Even Maruti Suzuki, Ertiga, Nissan, Ivalia can be classified under the wagon category. Van Van is the name given to the cars with main perspective of flexibility in utilizing the interior space. It has options of varying number of seats and hence luggage space. Best examples are Maruti Suzuki, Omni E and Echo. Vans with only front seats are used for transporting goods and services and the larger vans with passenger seats are used for institutional purposes such as transporting students. Examples of commercial vans are Tata Ace, Tata Ventura, etc. Lastly, pickup vehicles or commonly called pickup trucks. Pickup vehicle is a term used for the MUV with separate space for luggage. Best example is Tata Xenon XT. It has the combination of design of MUV and that of a commercial pickup vehicle. There would be spacious interiors for comfortable seating of 5 passengers and a separate luggage space available behind the passenger cabin. The dimensions of the vehicle would be larger and body is built on chassis frame so that the load carrying capacity can be considerably large. Generally, it would be around 800 kgs.